Hi guys, it's Belle here and welcome back for part four, I believe, of my creative design team project for the lovely Tracy Fox called The Marriage of John Barleycorn. Please do check below for all the details. I have the poem down there that um, John Barleycorn by Robert Burns. I have the song when it became a folk song. I have all those kind of links, so check it out. So we were continuing, or we are continuing to decorate. So we've got to Sam Sam, the American Scarecrow Man, and I noticed after filming that these are really quite similar. And I think part of that is because the leaves are the same colour. I've used, it's kind of the same setup. I did put a little bow, but this is bothering me. So I have decided that I am going to use this little cork pumpkin. I thought it was a bit weird because we've already got a pumpkin man, but you know what? I looked at it and I ended up really liking it. So we can still see some of the sunflower behind, but I decided I want the pumpkin man on there. I also added a few other little bits to some of the ladies on the front. I'm hoping that's going to stick. It may not. It may need to be held down. So let's get a clip and hold it because at least if it's held in place there, that's done. Okay, so we are moving on to... Why is that there? I don't need that on there. Hmm. Okay, so we are moving on to this guy. And I've decided they're all going to have names now. They just are. It, I feel bad if someone hasn't got a name. So this is one of John Barleycorn's other friends. And I think, what do we think, guys? I think he looks a bit like a Thomas. I don't know. I mean, can you tell from a skull scarecrow man if he looks like a Thomas? I don't know. But I'm going to say Thomas. And I think I want... I think I want actual sunflower leaves on this one. And we're going to have it up the top a bit more. Thomas. Okay, now all I've got in my head is Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat. Um, and we really want... Oh, I'm wondering about maybe one of these. This is one of those inked up flowers. We've got an orange. What colour is the other one? That's really orange. So let's go. I don't want it to be... Mm -mm. I don't want it to be too pale yellow because this is really yellow. So I think it would have to be this. Shama Shamali. Don't sing it, Belle. Don't sing it, Belle. My goodness me, I'm always getting songs stuck in my head when I'm working. And then, oh, I quite like that, you know. And then, obviously, I can't sing them because I'm on camera. Do we want a little bow on that one? I rather like it. And do you know what we haven't got? We haven't got... Let's go for a really dark, dark one. We haven't got any corn yet. So yeah, so his name's going to be Thomas. I just think that works. Should we have a yellow one? Yeah, let's have a yellow one. I think he looks like a Thomas. Do you think so, guys? I think he looks like a Thomas. Do we want a little squirrel? I, I won't. Oh, yes, I like that. Okay, we're going to do all of that. So let's move these. <laughs> it all worked nicely. Um... I'm not going to laugh ridiculously about the squirrel today. So a couple of the videos are live by the time I'm filming this. And it is nice to see how much you guys are kind of enjoying this sort of creepy autumnal project. I mean, obviously, it's always nice to see if people are enjoying a project, but... Um, yeah, I knew this would be a bit strange. I think it's just in my head because we had Lammas, like I said, at the start of the month. So, um, I 
think I want to do the leaves. These do not look like they've been inked. And we cannot be having that. Let's get rid of the glue. Needs to be inked up. Like so. Okay. So yeah, he's Thomas. So we've got Jank Pumpkinhead, John Barleycorn. We've just got Sam Sam, the American Scarecrow Man. <laughs> And now we have Thomas, like they don't need last names, Let, let's be honest. Like I just need to stop at some point. <laughs> um, so they, they really don't need last names. But I do like the name Thomas for him, so that's good. Like I said, can you say that someone looks like a Thomas when he's um, really skeletal? I mean, I think so. Um, yeah, that's what he looks like to me. And I've come up with names for the ladies mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> Over the other side, I've come up with the ladies' names because couldn't have all the gentlemen have names and not then also name the ladies. And of course, I'll share that with you when we go back to the other side to Sally's bridal party. Do, do, do. Oh, this is just so much fun. I've been enjoying it a lot because it's given me the autumn feels whilst also letting me just play with some creepiness which no i love oh well you went together very quickly thomas well, that was good so now we have john barleycorn's dad now i think he looks like an edward edward barleycorn that's what i think what do we think he could be john senior john barleycorn senior i mean he could be but um, I don't think so. We need him sort of over a little bit, down a bit further, up a bit further. I don't like them being exactly the same. We could have him straight on. Oh, so I made some more pumpkins. I made one in this sort of orange fabric. There is the slightest, I don't know if that's picking up, leaf pattern on there. And then I made this one from this card and I thought John's father could have a pumpkin on his because we do have one of these large I kind of like that but then I like the brightness of that do do I think if I start adding other things I'll be able to see what I like and don't like so he needs a leaf um He's got one and he's got one, so they don't need one. Do you know what someone might need? Someone might need some of this uh, vintage book spine thing. Do, do, do. Maybe Father Dearest can have some. Like that. Let's try it again with the bright orange. I'm sure you're all screaming, like, I really am drawn to this very, very bright orange. I really, really am. But then I kind of love the muted, folky look of that. Okay. Oh, and I pulled, I wanted to pull in some of this because on Sally's mum, she has a little bit of orange sari silk. So I thought it might be quite nice for John's dad also to have a little bit of sorry silk because that's how my mind works so we could have that pulled in that's all bendy on that side let's try and unbend it a little bit that might be quite cute pull a little bit more fabric do, do, do. okay and we want some lighter corn. 
and a little bit of dark. I want this lighter. Is that, yeah, that's a slightly different colour there. A lot of the gentlemen seem to have two on here. I mean, I could put three on his, couldn't I? We haven't had any with three. Is three too many, do we think? Sometimes I wish I was like doing live crafting because then you guys could say yes, no, maybe. Um, he's got one, but he's got two and he's got two. John might have three. Let's pull that one out again. Have the two. I think the two is good. We could put some thread behind the pumpkin. Like so. Just to give a bit more texture. So we could kind of put some thread. Oh my goodness me, Belle. Ah, there's the other one. I think I like that. And I might still put that bit of book page. So let's get everything or start getting everything stuck down. Uh, like so. And then I think we should start thinking about John and Sally. That's what I think we should start thinking about. So, I mean, I know in the original poem, it's all about the harvest. So John Barleycorn, you know, his death in the poem is representative of the reaping of the harvest. And I get that. And whilst I love that representation and concept... I'm kind of glad that we're giving John a bit of a happier time in this one. You know, maybe it's a family thing. Maybe he, his original great, 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 great grandfather or something was the original John Barleycorn from the poem. And they're kind of, so the name is passed down, which would make him a John Senior, but I don't want him to be. I'm just going to try that once more. Do we like it? Oh, guys, do you know, I really can't make my mind up. I really can't. I think I like the brighter pumpkin because it's the same as the brighter pumpkin on the other side. So that's what we're going to go for. I'm just going to stick it down and not keep stressing myself out about it because there's no point doing that. And once it's down, it's down. And if I don't like it, I can always stick the other pumpkin on top, you know. Things are made to be adaptable okay and I do think I want I don't know if I do want let's have a look we can pull oh I love this bit underneath do you see that but we've also got this and I'm wondering if we should put it on there <gasps> I kind of love it I love that one more so we're going to put that on there just add a teensy bit more texture Honestly, this is why I struggle making anything that's completely flat because I like texture. There we go, guys. So Jack is finished. We have Sam Sam, the American cowboy man, the scarecrow man. So that's stuck down on there with his strange little pumpkin. But I think it goes. Then we have Thomas. And then we have... Edward 
Okay, that makes me much happier. There was too much similar here. And, I mean, part of me does wish maybe I'd put him the other way. And I didn't scrunch him anywhere. Well, that is unacceptable. So we're going to pull that up a little bit and then scrunch it because, you know, Sam and Thomas haven't got any scrunching. And we need it to be a little bit not perfect. I'm also going to pull it up on that edge. We can have scrunching. Am I doing it on camera? I don't know. The light's coming, guys. I can see it. It's creeping across the table, leaving shadows and lines. Okay. Let's just ink the top of that. All right. Yeah, I wish we had put this one this way and had the pumpkin down there. That's what I'm wishing now. But you know what? We've done it. I can't change that. So let me introduce you to the ladies before we get started. Obviously, we've got Jacqueline Pumpkin. Uh, I think she's going to be called Anne or Annie to her friends. She looks a bit piratey. I don't know why. And that's reminding me of Anne Bonnie. So there we go. And then we've got Mary. And I'm going to call her Mary because she's quite scary. <laughs> so she is scary Mary. And obviously, we had the mother, Mrs. Wheatchief, Sally's mother. And I think she is an Amelia. I don't know why, but she is. But yeah, Scary Mary and um, Anne or Annie to her friends. So let's get started on what we're going to do. So I want to, I've got a couple of frames. Where has Sally gone? Now, the frames look similar, but they're not exactly similar. This is, this one is a little bit more ornate than this one. But, and you can see the edges are different. So I wanted them similar, but not the same. Sally's going to have the more ornate one. Sorry about that, John. Um, and we are going to, first of all, I need to cut where this is going to be because we don't need it the whole length where did my yellow scissors go so we're going to cut this down and i'd rather cut it a bit bigger and that's not straight um this one's sally's oh yes sally fits in there lovely now and we're going to emboss, but we're going to double emboss. So I have two sheets of paper because I oh know the line is coming. First of all, I'm going to use my Versamark um, ink pad. And let me show you what I'm going to use. So I have this embossing powder. It's a Cosmic Shimmer one and it is called um, Satin Sunset. And you can see it's got this. Um, let me open it. It'll be easier for you to see. It's got this mixed colouring in there of yellow and red. So I wanted that. And I'm also going to, in places, use the Distress Embossing Glaze Vintage Photo to kind of darken it a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. But we are going to, obviously, need two sheets of paper because although this will have the embossing on in different places, I need it... I need to not mix these together. So we're going to have this in places. In places like so. And let's shake that off. And move that to the side. And then anywhere left, we're going to put the embossing glaze on. And we're going to see how this works. Now, originally, I have some orange flocking powder that I have never Oh, that's really not sticking there. Never used. I can add more. And I was going to use that, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to emboss this with my heat gun. It's noisy, so I will pause you and bring you back. Okay, so the vintage photo didn't go on there as much as I would like, but I need to redo this anyway. And I think I will... Put the vintage photo on top of 
really need to press that in. I want to put it on top of some of this one. Once I've got all these edges covered with the um, sunset one. Really want to press that down. Love the colours on here. Right, let's try and get a little, little summer because this is going to go everywhere. Okay, so again, I'm going to heat this and then I might sprinkle some vintage photo on top, hopefully while it's still a little bit damp, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, I did John's one while I was at it. Now, because I double embossed and then put some of the glaze on there, it's left this kind of weird mottled look. I don't think the glaze likes this embossing powder. But I have to be honest, I rather love that weird mottled look. It looks kind of grunge. So I'm happy enough with it that it's going to work for me. And I could put some acetate behind here for Sally, but I don't think I want any. Like so. And that looks lovely. Let's just stick Sally down to this so that then... Or do I want, I often quite like to have like leaves and things coming out from beneath. No, we're just going to stick her to the frame and get her in there so that she doesn't go missing. Hopefully John's not gone missing. <laughs> Normally people are waiting for the bride. <laughs> We don't want a runaway groom. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, the sun has definitely hit the table. So I, so, um, I apologise for that. We have Sally um, on there. Let me bring you down a bit. Okay, so we have Sally on there. I'm wondering if we want to put something behind her. I have some burlap, which might be quite nice to put behind her. I was also going to use it on the tags. So let's see what I think once we've cut it. I was so disappointed. I really wanted to put some sort of straw or corn on here, guys, but it would just make the whole thing far too bulky um which you know wouldn't work but i did pull out all my straw and stuff do we kind of like her on there or do we want paper instead and obviously we're going to decorate her so let's try and this is a bit has a bit of a crease in it so we want to move that crease and um we may end up with just hold on guys between the embossing powder and the bits from this burlap we've kind of got stuff everywhere kind of like that what do we think i do have this beautiful orange that i could bring this in instead Hmm. but I don't know I think it's a bit too bright do you know what the only way we're going to find out if it is or isn't is by actually ripping it and seeing what it looks like that's the only way we're going to do it see how big Sally is so about here because I need to rip the bottom too I mean, it seems a shame to hide this beautiful golden flowers and things behind the frame, but we'll also get this beautiful edge, which is rather delicious. So we would have that. Oh, it's rather beautiful, isn't it? I just, I feel like that's too much. I just, hmm, I don't think I like it. Let's turn it over and see if I like that edge better. I do like that better, but no, 
I don't want it. So we've got her with the burlap and then we could then have obviously lots of flowers. Now I think we should have um, some flower, definitely. We could actually do a couple of flowers. We don't actually need the sunflower bit. We could have a couple of beautiful sunflowers on there. Could have a yellow. Could have a couple. Obviously, we need some corn. We can't not have corn. And we need like another one. I really think John's going to have three possibly on his. Right, but if I've got that yellow one there, I can't really put another yellow one next to that down there. We have got a slightly different flower. Where was that really strange orangey one that I liked? That's too much orange. We've got a slightly different yellow, so that would work. And we do have another bow. What do we think, guys? I kind of like that with the burlap and everything else. So let's stick her onto that. And then let's try and stick that down. Really need a good amount of glue on this. The whole thing. And then we can do John. Do I have any more squirrels? I don't think I do. I think I've used all the squirrels. Hello, Sally, with your bouquet. Look, she's holding her little bouquet. I mean, but in my mind, she is. <laughs> it's kind of just perfect. With Sally, which way is Jack? Yeah, this will go better this way. With Sally, the bride. Okay, let's have her on there and really press that. Let's open it and press it. That would work probably better. Let's press her down. The beautiful Sally, 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 wait, chef. Okay, let's get this. I think I'm going to trim this bit off. Don't need it quite as long. Oh, I've got an acorn. Do I want to use that on her? I think I will. I think I'll use that on Sally. Now, this has to go over several things <laughs> and different layers and different mediums. It's all good fun. Oh, that light's really come in now, hasn't it, guys? I might have that now. I've glued that bit, but I don't think I want that completely glued. Maybe. Okay. Then we're going to have the flowers. Let's just put the glue on the back of the flowers now and then work out where they're going to be placed. feel like that. Again, different levels, different mediums. I'm going to have that. I have got a brown one. I don't think I want the brown. I think I want this. And we have this little, little acorn that I think I would like on there too, or even up here. No, that's just going to get in the way there. But we could have it there. And we could have the bow. What do we think, guys? Oh, I just think that's so lovely. Which way? No, I want the acorn that way. Okay. Yes, this is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. This is going to be interesting, keeping all this down. Oh, I tell you what else I had to work out. But that could be a finishing touch. 
so would it have been nice to have some thread on her I mean things already cut stuck down now but I'm just quick quick get this up quick 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 <laughs> I'm wondering if I want to put that might be too much maybe just a little bit on here like so do you know what I don't think I do I thought I did because we all know how I like fabric but I, now I'm looking at it I don't think I do okay let's put that back together after tearing it apart so we have done Sally what do we think guys yep I like that. Now it's time for Mr. John. John Marlicon. Okay, John. Let's cut you your the size as well. And get you stuck in your frame, John John. I did wonder about putting a tie on this, if I'm honest, guys. But I will say that when I looked at that idea, I um, I didn't like how it would work. So we are going to have something tied on here. But we are going to do it in such a way that it's removable because that's just what worked best in my head for this piece um yeah i'll show you some of the straw in a minute that i really wanted to use for this because i did find some flatter stuff that i had in my stash that i think would have been good but Honestly, this burlap is making so much mess. There's so many little bits and bobs all over my table. So, oh my gosh, I am covered. <laughs> the joy of crafting. Hey, guys. Right. I need to trim this just a little bit. Sorry, I've got it over the bin because there's no way I'm trimming it on the table. I'm thinking of having him down here. So I had some of this straw. And it is actually quite thin. And I was wondering about putting some actually behind John, like so. But it's just, it's just, just too bulky. So that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Makes me sad, because I did want to add that. But I'm thinking when I tie it together, I might just put some straw through it. If you want to keep it tied together. Mm -hmm. That would work too. Now before we actually stick this down. Oh my goodness. I literally have stuff coming like everywhere. I'm wondering do I want like any of these. We're going to put a load of straw. But I want it kind of coming up the top with him. And maybe over the top. Like so. I do want quite a few different bits. For him. And we do have to add another leaf as well. I have got a leaf here. So let's put the leaf first. Because that will help me see what I want to do. Again, I mean, I know it's all part of the life cycle and the harvest. So I get all that. But it's so sad. <laughs> so here you go, John. You know what they say, 
Happy wife, happy life. But I think you're just happy you're getting one <laughs> instead of it ending up like it does in the song. That's what I think. This is a lot of fiddling around, I know, guys, um, but it has to be just right. I feel like it goes best on there. I was going to put it behind, but I feel like it goes best on there. Do you know what? I think I'm going to start sticking this just in places on here because then it can get positioned and I can do any cutting that I need to and also sort the rest out whilst this all stays in position. That's what I think. I don't know why I'm doing all the glue up there. Like so. And then the yellow one. Like so. We don't need all of these as long as they are, but I also don't want to trim them completely short. Right. That yellow one moved. Stay where you are. And we can put a little bow on his one too. Taking a little bow. On there. I'm wondering if I want another leaf, actually just coming off to oh I do I do I do I do and then we'll work out what to put on the back I am so sorry for the shadow and the sun guys if I don't get this filmed now it won't get up in time so that's going to go on like that Then we're going to have him maybe at this angle, actually. It's very like Jack's. But this might be the better angle because you'll see the leaf better on the music paper. But we're not seeing any of the sunflower. Mm. Maybe from the side. Do we like that? Do we kind of like it coming out the side? I wanted to see some of this sunflower patch down here. Just a little bit. That will do. Okay, now what was I looking for? Oh, I still want a sunflower on here because, you know, they've all got sunflowers. Do we want it behind a little bit? So that it's behind John? Like a couple of them up there. Do we want that? So it's a little bit different, but you will see it when you move it that way. Um, I kind of like that. So, before I start moving everything, let's just put some glue. Before I start changing my mind and going, no. Let's just put some glue. And then we need to glue this. Still got to put some words on here in places, guys. I think that will be part of the finishing touches in the last video. So I can want the sunflower on top of the leaf. Get underneath, Mr. Leaf. There we go. Right. And John can go on like so. And then we'll see the sunflowers behind him when we do it that way or we could have it like that but it's too much like Jack Pumpkinhead that's what's bothering me we could have it straight he would be the only one that would be straight on though um, but I also do kind of like it straight so we could do that so I had to stop then for a second um We'll put him at a slight angle, therefore he's not completely at an angle, but he is at a slight one. And then I think we'll leave it there because the sun's coming in too much and... Oh my gosh, so many parts to this project. 
but I have tried to make the other vi uh, the other videos these other ones shorter than the first one um, and we're going to be making the tags next time and they are going to be really nice and simple so it shouldn't take us too long at all to make those so there is John's so what do we think now guys let's move all these out of the way and we've got John let me move you up a little bit so we've got John and his best man and then we added this pumpkin and then we've got we finished off Thomas and John's dad and then over the other side we did Sally so look there's Sally and John don't they make a lovely couple, guys? Do, do, do. And then Jacqueline Pumpkin, Annie or Anne, Scary Mary and Mrs. Wheat Chief. Um, what I did want to add just on here, if I can now find it before we go, is I did have some of these enamel dots. They're simple stories. Cozy Christmas, actually. But I thought that would work really well on here. I just don't know which one would work better. So we've got this kind of deep burgundy one, which does quite go. But you know what? I quite like the cream. We have got the green and then we have a brighter red. Let's try the cream. Because I feel, oh my gosh, it went, it disappeared, come back feel like because this has like a creamy white to it, I think that works best. That's the one I like. So that's the one we're going to have because everything else is quite dark and it just picks it up. And that's that, guys. We will add tags. We will do any finishing touches. I need to go because there's too many shadows and everything. But I would love that embossing. I would love to know what you think. So I'll be back again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the previous videos if you haven't seen those. Sorry for all the shadows and everything. And I'll be back with the final video very soon. Until then, guys, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now.